Welcome, Leo, to your February mid-month reading. Sorry I got to you guys a little late. I had some video camera issues. So let's get going here. Hope everybody enjoyed the uh, Leo full moon. And we're getting ready for that Mercury retrograde on the 17th. So hopefully everybody has an okay time during that time. Since, you know, can be problematic for electronics and... And all kinds of things. So, okay. Let's see what's going on. This is for Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. So if you have any Leo in those areas, this is good for you. Okay, let's get started here, Leo. We have the Four of Swords upside down and the Three of Wands upside down. So let's see what's going on with you. Get your oracle cards. And welcome back, everybody, who are subscribers who have been here before. And anyone who is new, welcome, welcome to my channel. Okay. Oh, too many cards. Okay, so what we have for you. Let's see. Oh, nice. Okay. And let's see what's going on so we can figure out what's going on in this energy a little better than what it's looking like. Ooh, three of Swords, Knight of Cups, Three of Pentacles upside down, Four of Wands in the near future with the Star card. Nice. This is the uh, recent past and of course this is your present. This is your present energy and what you're thinking. Okay, and let's just start looking at this and see putting this story together. Okay, let's see. So it looks like you're either ignoring someone or have a refusal. It could be ignoring someone because you feel rejected from them. Be some rejection, but it looks like you, it looks like you're ignoring them and you're feeling rejected by this person. But there's hope, so you're keeping the hope, keeping the hope alive. So that's very good. And then you have the three of swords over here. And so there is some pain, maybe some separation. Let's see what's going on over here. Clarify on the Three of Swords for me, Spirit. Three of Swords. Okay, some fighting going on, whether it's some arguing. Could have caused a separation or just a lot of heartache. There's that, there's that rejection. There it is again. This is definitely rejection. So, rejection, feeling dejected, somebody was neglecting you, wasn't treating you right. And an argument which caused some pain or separation. We'll find out if that's a separation. It could be a separation for some of you and just heartache for others. Three of swords. Okay, so clarifying on the Three of Swords, we actually got two cards. We have the King of Pentacles, which you could be dealing with a Taurus, Capricorn, or a Virgo. For some of you, other what? otherwise they could just be um, taking on that energy with Temperance upside down. Or you could be dealing with the Sagittarius. So, Temperance upside down and the king of coins with this pain. I am thinking that, you know, definitely no matter what, you're feeling overwhelmed. Okay. Definitely feeling overwhelmed. You might even think that this is a waste of your time. Or that maybe this king of coins is just super selfish. Okay. Maybe they're just super selfish. Because the temperance can be a card of selfishness. So if they're not treating you right, maybe they're being selfish towards you. And with the king of coins, it's, you know, when they're upside down like this, they're, it's like an abusive behavior, and that could be coming from this arguing, 
you know, if they're always wanting to pick a fight with you, that's abusive. It's emotionally and can be ver emotionally and verbally abusive, right? Not always just verbally, but just, you know, emotionally more than anything. And mentally. So you got the mental, verbal, emotional um, abuse going on. Okay. And if they're always picking a fight, that's how this, that's why this King of Coins is upside down as abusive. Okay. Abusive doesn't always have to, you know, mean that they're, they're hitting you. Okay. So I'm thinking that this, this King of Coins is very abusive. One of those ways. Okay. Always fighting with you. And for others of you out there, it could be, you know, I pray it's not physical, but you know, there could be somebody out there that is putting up with that. I pray to God not. But then you have this, every time they become abusive, you know, mentally, emotionally, verbally abusive, it makes me not feel good, right? It makes me want to walk away from them. It makes me want to want ignore them. So I can see that you're ignored because you feel like they're, they're always picking on you, right? Always wanting to pick a fight with you. So that's your present energy now. So like I said, I don't know if this is a separation. It could just be a separation because you're ignoring them. So you could be actually living in the same house and be separated into different rooms and different areas. Okay. But it's definitely a pain in the heart. Okay. This is definitely pain. Okay. And then you have this Knight of Cups over here. So... You have this offering, this expectation. I'm going to use the other deck because this is the deck that I like clarifying with. Okay, so we have this Nine of Cups over here. You have expectations. Maybe an offering coming in. Maybe it could be from this Knight of Cups, this um, Pisces Cancer Scorpio. Okay, maybe you're talking to somebody else. I don't know. Let's see. Wheel of Fortune upside down. Two of Swords. Ooh, I'm reading in the Queen. Ooh, okay. So, ooh, we got Icy Cold over here. Okay. And then we have Cold Cold. Cold and Cold. So, I'm thinking that... Wow. Hold on, Leo. You're cold... And your partner's cold as well. Okay? You're both ice cold. And you're both giving each other the cold shoulder at this moment. Okay? And I'm thinking that this is you, ice cold. This is your cold shoulder because this is the hermit. So I'm thinking because you are ignoring them. You know, in this four of, <clears throat> excuse me, this four of swords. I'm thinking this is you in that cold hermiting stage. And this is your partner. Just being nasty cold, right? Because of swords. When they're speaking to you, they are nothing but nasty cold. And I see that over here. Okay. Super harsh cold. Because you're over here like hermiting cold. Don't talk to me. Leave me alone. And they're just like, meh, 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 right? Always. Okay. I even have this feeling that this person, it sometimes might even like follow you around, like yelling at you. Right? Just just to pick a fight, you know? Might call you on the phone just to say, hey, what are you doing? Okay. So, <clears throat> just getting kind of that energy. Okay? It's like no matter where you're hermiting, no matter what room you're in, here they come, right? Just to speak harsh words to you for no reason. No reason whatsoever. What are you doing? I mean, just the way they even say, what are you doing, is like, what are you doing? You know? It's like... You know, you probably just want to turn around at this point since you're in her mood. You're like, none of your business. Leave me alone. So, <laughs> seriously, right? And as you're hermiting, you're thinking, right? And maybe you're even a little blind to noticing how bad this really is or how, how um, What is the word that I'm looking for? The word that I'm looking for is you don't realize what it's really doing to you. If they're emotionally and, and mentally like attacking you all the time, it's actually hurting you. Okay. It could give you um, 
bad self-esteem. It can make you feel like you're always doing something wrong, like you can't do anything wrong. So it kind of blinds you to realize, okay, that there are two different options, okay? So, you know, it's kind of confusing as well. I see the confusion here as well. Like, why are they always on me? Okay, and it's almost like the expectation is bad luck. Like, I expect them to come yelling at me any moment. Right? I expect them to do this any second. Every time I turn around, it just seems like I'm, like, it's there. So it's kind of the discernment, right? Like, you just know what's going to happen. I expect you. You know, I'm aware of this. I'm aware of this behavior. I'm aware that you're coming, right? Clarify on the queen of swords, you know, because if you're over here kind of blinded to not understanding exactly what's going on all the time, but yet you are aware, just maybe not aware of what damage it's really doing. That's what I'm kind of seeing. And it's giving you kind of options, okay? Or for maybe some of you, maybe that's what it is. Maybe it is the awareness, right? You are aware of what they're doing to you. Okay, you are aware that this is giving you low self-esteem or making you feel bad all the time. So, Queen of Swords. What is the Queen of Swords doing over here? Why, you know? Knight of Swords, Three of Cups, the Chariot, and the Moon. That's quite the story there. So, it looks like when this person is not always ice cold and harsh, this might be where the confusion comes in because it looks like when this person's not like this, they're really happy. So maybe it's a cycle that they go through, okay? Half the time they're harsh, cold, and you can't understand because the other times we're getting along and doing just fine. And everything's happy, right? We're celebrating. Everything's fine, right? They seem cheery, happy. They're fine. But it's almost like, and then all of a sudden, they get like this. So, like a, almost like a bipolar behavior, right? Like, he's like this, and then he'll come to you. He'll communicate with you to be happy again. And then all of a sudden, then he leaves. What? And he leaves and acts like that again. It's almost like a, this is a cycle. Like bipolar dis disorder or like behavior. Or man manipulative, egomatic behavior. Kind of like maybe when they don't get their way, then they become ice cold. But as long as they're getting their way, then everything's happy. I don't know what I'm getting out of that. That's some crazy behavior. That's got to get old. No wonder you're a little confused. And it looks like you're confused because you don't, might not know which person is, you know, coming home. I don't know. Anyways, I feel like it's very, um, I get kind of this like dizzying feeling. Kind of like it's, it's just this big cycle. It's kind of dizzying for you. And exhausting for sure. Definitely exhausting. And... Um, the reason I think is because, like I said, you just don't know what you're going to get when they get, you know, maybe when they get home from work, maybe they act different from when, you know, maybe they're one way and then they're another way, right? So you never know what, what to expect. And maybe that's what it is, you know, not knowing what to expect, but I'm aware that this, I'm aware that this behavior can come, right? So in the past, you have the three of pentacles. Okay. It looks like there wasn't a whole lot of collaboration going on. And that's why you got into this mode. King kept upside down. You could be dealing with Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. You have the Devil card. Okay, you got that Devil card. You got that, that obsessive behavior going on, right? So... You know, or maybe it was just the realization. Maybe in the past you had a realization there is no collaboration. So it's making me feel wishy-washy, upside down. I don't feel right. Right? Because everything's unpredictable. This is a card of unpredict uh, predictability. 
So maybe you, it's just like, they're always unpredictable, I, you know, and I've realized this, but I'm still holding tight, right? I'm still holding on. But see, because you have that help there. So it doesn't really surprise me that you would still be holding on, right? You're holding on, still trying to control the situation. And maybe it's you're trying to control your emotions as well. Okay. So. With the sun. So you're trying to control the situation, trying to control your emotions. Okay. And. Maybe it's because you, you know this person's selfish. You just know they're selfish. It's all about them. Selfish. And there's warning signs here. It's almost like you can you can tell when they're when they're getting ready to change because you got the warning signs right with the big red got their big red flag going on right here, right? It's kind of like warning signs, beep, beep, beep. They're gonna change. So, but like I said, there's hope over here. So you're hoping, I'm thinking you're having hope that, and here's that hope again with the star. So we definitely know that this is hope, you know, and I, I see the passion here in the family. So I'm thinking you're just hoping this is just going to last a little while and then they'll be back, you know, back to normal again. Right. And maybe this has just been the cycle for this month. Right. Maybe this is the full moon cycle going on or something, you know. Mars moving through the planet Mars and it caught them off depending on what sign they are. Maybe it threw them for a loop. So they're acting a little crazy. Maybe it's a behavior they're not used to. Okay, so who knows? Everybody has their own story or maybe it is just a something you're really used to, but maybe they're doing it more so than usual. Okay, so you have the four of wands over here in the near future. So you have that hope. There's that hope. It's sitting right next to it. Two cards of hope. So you definitely have hope that you're going to get out of this. Okay. Yeah, you want to get, you have that hope and that passion and wanting to get your four of wands because you're not feeling very strong right now. You feel very weak in the relationship or you may believe that the relationship has weakened. So with the seven of pentacles, you're reassessing, trying to figure out how you're going to fix this because you don't feel like your love is balanced. Okay. There's not enough cooperation between the two of you and you're feeling very depressed. Okay. This is a very depressing situation and you don't feel that there's enough communication between the two of you, right? You do not feel there's enough communication between the two of you. So you're hoping that this will turn around, right? Then you have over here with the star, Okay, you have hope and promises and dreams and maybe a little healing as well, right? So you're going to start to heal. Maybe things will become better. Okay, you have the king of wands upside down. We have that manipulative, egomatic um, uh, behavior going on with the king of wands. Okay, so maybe he's still continuing or she is still continuing to be a little egomatic or super egomatic. Okay, immature, or maybe it's just that you're becoming impatient and waiting for this um, to change. Okay, so it could be, you know, one of those for either of you. So, okay, but you have options. Okay, so you're waiting for the options. You're waiting for the new ideas of how you're going to do this. You're waiting for them, the change, the new opportunities with the moon, okay, and the high priestess. So you have potentials. You're feeling that this is potential to change, okay? Secrets of one secrets. Maybe this is your secret wish, right? Maybe you pray a lot at night, or maybe you manifested on this full moon that they will change, right? Because this is a, a card of wish, you know, wishing again. You got wishing, wishing, secrets, secrets. So, you know, maybe you actually, you know, wished upon the moon. Maybe you did manifestation work on the weekend with the full moon and said, hey, you know, 
I wish this would change, you know? And maybe you kept it a secret to yourself, but you're using your higher intuition, right, to see what's really going on. Okay. Right. And maybe you're waiting for that perfect timing. These are two cards of perfect timing, but this is also a card of confusion as well. So maybe you're confused in which way to go. Some of you, maybe it's that way. So, <clears throat> so you're using your higher intuition to figure it out. You know, so I'm a little confused in which way to turn. Page of Swords, Four of Cups, feeling indecisive. Conf you know, confusion again. So I do feel the confusion here. You're waiting for this person to change. You see the potentials of them changing. You're just waiting for this perfect timing. And, you know, you have this Page of Swords with this, you know, insecurities. And, you know, it, for some of you, this could even be feeling insecure or maybe even feeling doubtful that this, that your hope is going to come in. Well, you know, there's perfect timing here. So allow the perfect timing to take place. You know, if you've been waiting a long time and, you know, in this, like I said, this is the near future. Maybe you've been waiting a whole, you know, a whole lot. You feel like you've been waiting a whole lot. And so you're just feeling doubtful. Like they're, maybe this is not going to, you know, they're, maybe they're not. Don't do that. Keep on to your hope. You have hope here. You definitely have hope. Don't let that bring you down. Okay. Just because the perfect timing isn't coming as fast as you want it to, you know. Yeah, because see, this is the unknown, and it might even start making you feel a little irritable. Doubtful. Insecure about whether or not this is going to work. Okay, but, you know, and... For some of you, it might even make you feel like this person hasn't changed at all and they're still being egomatic and they're still making you feel unwanted towards the end, but you're still holding on to this hope. <sighs> this is a very kind of wishy-washy, <coughs> excuse me, end of the month thing. I think the thing is, is you're still holding on to hope, but you still have this thing where it's like, I'm very hopeful this is going to happen. And then some days they come back and they're doing this behavior again or maybe that hour or something, and then it's like, you know what, I don't, I don't even, you know, forget it. I don't think you're going to change. I, I don't even know. I don't even know if you want me anymore, you know. I don't know what you want. Okay, and then you start getting into this doubt. Okay. So let's, we're going to try to keep you on a more positive and keep you more positive with the hope so that that could at least give the, you know, if you did do any manifest, uh, manifest, manifesting, my goodness, tongue's not working, or the full moon, or just prayers every day, okay, or law of attraction, or anything like that, you know, need to keep those positive energies going, you know, so that you can have your victory and success. Will everybody have victory and success? I am so sorry, I can tell you, I absolutely do not know. Everybody is different. But I do have these law and attraction cards that I just got, so we will use some of these to keep that positive action going. Okay. See what we can do to give you something to hold on to. Law of attraction is very important. You know, with all this hope that we have up on here, we know deep down you really just want to hold on to this and want your person to be the person that you know they can be. So this is, huh, I am selfish enough to want to feel good. Now, this is very interesting because over here it was like, I'm unwanted. My heart's broken. I don't know if I'm good enough for you. So here's your card from Spirit. You cannot perceive life from any perspective other than from that of yourself. Selfishness is the sense of self. Unless you are selfish enough to care about how you feel and therefore direct your thoughts into such a way that you are allowing a true connection to your inner being. You have nothing to give another anyways. Everyone is selfish. It is not possible to be otherwise. But this is a different kind of selfish, okay guys? This isn't the kind of selfish where... Um, this is the selfishness where, yes, I do care about myself more than I care about you. And that's the way life's supposed to be. 
Okay. This isn't the type of selfish where it's like, I went out and spent all this money on myself, but I told you you couldn't have anything. That's selfish. Okay. Or selfish to where they're buying all this stuff and knowing that you can barely, you know, feed the family. Okay, but yet they're buying all this crap for themselves. Okay, that's not the type of selfish they're talking about. The law of attraction is my life's basis. Since the law of attraction is the basis of your experience, an understanding of it is essential to living life on purpose. In fact, an understanding of the law of attraction is essential to living the life of joy that you came forth to live. Do not let people take away your joy. It's not their job to do so. You have the right to be happy. Do not allow another person to take away what is rightfully yours. You were born into this world without that person. And if that person wants to treat you like crap, you can, you know, you can leave that person because it's not like they're going to leave the world with you. You came in alone, you can leave alone. Okay. It's very frustrating. Okay. Very frustrating for you to have to deal with something like this. And I feel that frustration. And I'm sorry that I'm getting a little weird because I feel this energy from somebody out there that I'm like really frustrated, right? And <laughs> like, like this is frustrating me, okay? And it's like, you know, how dare you think that you can take away my joy and make me feel like I'm less of a person than I am because you want to be the king of the jungle. Who are you? You know, who are you? When did you become the king of the empire? So that's the energy I'm feeling. And it's really like, it's kind of getting under my skin, you know? So whoever this is resonating for, I really feel you because, I mean, it's like, how dare you take away my joy and make me feel like this, you know? So the angels say trust. And I, I would say trust in yourself. Trust in your hope. Get out there and do whatever it is that you want to do, okay? You have opportunities. Don't let another person tell you you do not have opportunities or that you're not good enough for this or that or whatever it is, okay? And always ask help from others. There are people out there that can help you, you know, your friends, you know, whoever that might be, okay? Okay, and then I'm going to use the life purpose cards for you guys because I think you could use some healing. And I see the healing over here and I see the hope and the promise. And, you know, so I think that, you know, with some healing and, you know, getting out there, getting in touch with yourself, I think is really going to help you. Okay. And I don't see this as a lost cause for everybody. Travel. Your life purpose involves traveling. Travel. Go you know, to the movies, you know, not everybody can afford to go to Hawaii. So, you know, go to the movies, go to the park, you know, do things for yourself, right? An artist, engage in artistic activities. It's beneficial for um, every area. Let's just put every area in your life. Okay. Since we're not doing career readings today. So, you know, if you're drawing that can help relax you, not think about things, get you off into a more positive area, right? Because we want to keep the law of attraction very positive because we do not want to bring in things we do not want. Okay? We only want to bring in things we want. You do not want this, so do not dwell on this because you don't want it. Okay? Remember with the law of attraction, you dwell on things you don't want, you're going to get it. You dwell on things you do want, you're going to get it. Okay, so let's not dwell on uh, things we do not want. Okay, so by doing artistry or going to the park, doing stuff like that, getting out of the house, clearing your mind, okay, that will help you um, think about things you do want, right? Think about that hope. Think about that victory, that success. Think about, you know, the happy things. Okay. So, and we're going to use the animal cards to see what animal influence would be great for you. That's funny. I have a 
part of that doesn't belong there. Oh, look, you got the kitty. Be relaxed and independent. Oh, that's perfect for you, Leo. Just be the kitty. Be relaxed and independent. I think when you're doing these things over here, like, you know, traveling and doing some artwork, you know, whatever it might be, that's artsy fartsy, you know, um, it'll make you relax and independent and just really get back into your essence, make you feel good. Okay. And what else do we have? Poor Leo. Oh, there we go. Dolphin. Live joyfully in the present. Well, there you go. Live joyfully in the present, Leo. You're going to be just fine. Okay. And so it looks like in the end, you know, one way or another, you'll get your victory and your success. However you do it. Right. Everybody's story is going to be a little different. But, you know, figure it out. You got this. Okay. Just remember, don't let this person get you down so deep that you forget who you are. Okay, and that was your reading for the mid-month, and I will see you at the end of the month with your end-of-the-month reading, and I hope uh, this resonated with a lot of you, and whatever pieces and parts don't resonate, just throw it away, and uh, if you like this, please like and subscribe, and if you know anybody who resonates with this, share the video, and I will see you next time, and love, peace, and joy to all of you. Bye-bye.